so we will start by creating this modeling this part here that looks like a cylinder with these fins these are five fins from both sides of course so I open my file here that's a brand new file and I will change my view to F view and it's better for you to use shortcuts for perspective it's P for top we, we don't use orthographic most likely for top we use T bottom B front F left is L these are the most ones you will use uh, while you're modeling so press F so we can get the front view activate the snap toggle and make sure it's toggle uh, snapping to grid points activate it and what's uh, perfect for this piece is a tube nothing is perfect than a tube so I will pick a tube right click oops should click inside it first then right click now let's change its parameter I don't want it to be big so I make it 60 for radius 1 and I need two points difference between radius 1 and 2 so that makes radius to 85 uh, 58 sorry uh, the height I will extend it to be 60 height segments I will keep it to 1 and cap segment to 1 number of sides here I will make it something like 32 because I need 5 fins in this area here but actually 32 is too much I want something divisible by 4 let's try 24 yes 24 is fine I need these 5 edges right here and same for the other side okay now I will convert it to editable poly now what I need to do I need to create some chamfer for these edges so I change the mode to edge mode and I will select these edges oops I will uh, remove my snap toggle I press control to select multiple selections I double click so I can select it as a loop okay that makes it one two three four five six no that one is uh, we don't need this one I only need two one and two same for the other side please control one two three let's go here and take these two loops oops and let's make sure we didn't select anything we don't need and that's it I like it press F again now we need to chamfer these edges so we can make them these fans so see these fans so let's chamfer these and let's make it um, something like 0.7 we don't need much and press ok now let's change the perspective view so we can select the polygons we need only these polygons here not the whole loop only the one the exterior one now we have one two three oops uh, I accidentally selected this so I press ctrl Z I change the edge mode again and I will press alt to deselect this guy and of course this one and this one again I will use the chamfer tool and I will use the same value press ok 
change to polygon mode and let's select these outer polygons only that we will extrude same for this side keep pressing control so you can select multiple selections make sure nothing funny is selected and now what I need to do I need just to extrude them and um, I guess this is fine I guess this value of 10 is fine let's check the photo yeah something like this okay press ok we need to, to make these upper fence and lower fence a bit uh, horizontal so let's get back to front view change your mode to vertices select those guys use the scale tool and slightly scale them down not much do the same for these four again on the y-axis we slightly scale them down now we need to make them uh, even on the x-axis oops let's do it one by one this one too And finally this one okay now we got this piece what we need to do we need to put it inside a turbo smooth and as you can see turbo smooth makes it let's raise the iteration to something like three and isolate selection and see final results as you can see it looks it looks funny so we need to use the uh, from edit here we need to use the swift loop and we I will do one side and then I will pause the video so I don't use much time okay now we need to make this and this too one in the middle and one in the bottom let's check what we have need to do the same for this edge here that's already have one and one for this piece I will pause the video and continue the left side so I finished making these cuts on both sides now I need to make the whole uh, piece smaller than this because it's, it's huge actually 
so let's use the scale tool select the turbo smooth and let's do a an overall scale so that's it that gives me similar look to this piece right here okay let's press perspective view to see it maybe it needs to scale down not much okay so that's it for this piece and i think it's wide if you compare it to this piece here let's uh, scale it down on the y-axis and that's it let's now jump to the next tutorial